control. Breach in five, four, three. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Uncle Freedom coming to you on another glorious and well-deserved day off. And today, we're going to look at my top 10 accessories that I take to the range with me when I'm going to do load development for hand loads, shooting for accuracy. They're just 10 things, specifically categories of things that go with me every time. So if that sounds fun and interesting to you, maybe you're interested in just what I use or you want some ideas about some cool stuff that you could add to your own gear setup, go ahead and like, subscribe, tell a friend because we are growing. If you need to talk to me about something or you have a question, go over to Facebook or Instagram. It is at Uncle Freedom 213. You can also find my Linktree account there that has links to affiliates of the channel that help support me, some of which will be mentioned in this video. I have a huge love for the, one of these companies. You can also just direct email me at unclefreedom213 at outlook.com. So if you've got questions about groups, hand loads, questions about pressure signs, gun setups, whatever, go ahead and shoot me an email. You can send me pictures, videos over there so that I can actually try to help you the best way I can. So let's get into it, guys. My top 10 range accessories for hand loading. Some form of this goes with me every single time. So the first one for me is you have to have a way to carry your ammo to the range. Specifically, when we do load development, it's a highly organized affair. You can't just put them in a bag. You have to actually be able to go out and have this stuff separated. Now, there's a ton of options on the market for ways you can do this. If you're a hand loader, one of the things we're famous for having a shitload of around are ammo boxes. Uh, something like this guy here. This is from Cabela's. This is a 100 round, 300 blackout, or 5.56. Five, brass box or range box so in here i have excellent ability to organize here this is actually brand new once fired sig brass primed with usa ready uh winchester match primers in here 100 rounds of it sized ready to go but something like this you can work out of this box but there are better options out there for those of you that load ammo for hunting rifles Think like your favorite 30 out six. We have the small versions that come in your factory uh, 20 round boxes. For those of you that wonder, this is a 130 grain um, TSX round from Barnes. So this is a smoke show of a round, a monolithic hunting round, if you will, all around pretty cool stuff. But this is an option of that's kind of the way you load it. But my two favorite versions of this guy or actually my favorite version of this guy, period, 100%, is made by one of the affiliates of the company. I love these people. They are awesome, and that is Coltac. If you have never experienced Coltac and you consider yourself a precision shooter, where have you been? Uh, again, Linktree, Coltac, they're an amazing company. They're a small company. And actually, when you order stuff from Coltac, you get one of these cool little labels. But on the back of your cool label, you have the signatures of the people who sewed your product. So made in the USA stuff, very compliant, amazing. Um, but the ones I use all the freaking time are these guys. This is the normal rifle. This is the 5.56-300 blackout version. These are known as the ammo novel. So the way this guy comes up, 1000D Cordura, Velcro shut. You actually have a flap in here at the top right here to put your uh, load cards in there. But what you basically have is 16 slots per with elastic and you have pages of ammo so this book will hold 122 loaded cartridges i also use this when i shoot at matches um, i have a couple of these for 556 five, several for 308 65 creed more and stuff and i will do this but what i'll do with my stuff is i'll have a card up here that tells me what number through what is my actual like what's the powder charge on that seating depth all that and that corresponds to something that's kept in my notebook but the way these work is if I'm on the line, I'm loading, I just pop my round at the bottom. Uh, it's easier access for me, but these are awesome and indispensable. Again, that's the Coltac Ammo Novel. This is the 5.56-300 Blackout version. 
And then this big guy here is the 308 size. This is actually, I use this one a lot for my 30 out six. You'll notice I have them all numbered the same way. Same deal, 128 rounds in here. And this guy has actually got 30 out six hand loads in here for the next load development. So this is 168 grain Amax out of here in a 30 out six. Um, and that's how you keep this guy going. But it's called the Ammo Novel. It's fan freaking tastic. I adore these. They're amazing. They have a bunch of different colors. Again, USA made stuff. You're going to pay for it, but it's well worth it. And it's a USA company that supports the Second Amendment. They make great quality gear. Support those guys. Go check them out. Again, Linktree. That is Coltac. Awesome. And affiliates of the channel. So number two, you have to have a rear bag. Um, if you're going to shoot, typically we would shoot off a bipod. If we don't shoot off a bipod. We shoot off of a bag or a rest. But having a rear bag or a sand sock is absolutely essential. Even in my day-to-day -day life on a sniper weapons platform, I run a rear bag. I covered one of the rear bags in the sniper weapon system video with Officer Meany Head. Uh, you can go check that out. But like something as simple as this guy, this is a cross tack here. I am not a big fan of this rear bag. It does not have a lot of give to it. So typically my bag, and I've been running this one forever, this is the Coltac Wooby bag. You can get this in a waxed canvas, but you'll notice here that it's got some give to it. I can really squeeze and get good elevation, rise off of that, stabilize the rifle. It's also a little bigger. This Velcro, so I can tie it on stuff. I can carabiner it into things if I need to. Uh, their fill is super light. This weighs almost nothing, and it is incredibly supportive in an amazing bag. So again, this is the Coltac Wooby uh, bag. You can find this over there. Coltac makes, like I said, some of the best stuff out there. This is going to sound kind of like a commercial for Coltac. It's really not. They are an affiliate, but I've been buying their gear long before they became an affiliate, and it's still the best stuff I've used. So a good rear bag. I prefer the Coltac Wooby bag. It's my baby. Next up, if you're not running a bipod, you need a bag to rest your stuff off of. So in for me, it's another Coltac item. Surprise, surprise. But it's this guy. This is what's known as the cuddle bag. So this is the normal size cuddle bag. Believe it or not, this cuddle bag weighs less than this Night Eyes beaner that's on here. Comes with this strap for you to wear it around your shoulder. It's useful if you're in positions like this to cuddle up against and provide more stability to your shooting platform if you're shooting that way. You can also lay it flat, set your rifle on it. Excellent, excellent, excellent bag. Uh, again, the Coltac, they make a couple versions. This is the normal one. I have the mini as well. It's exceptionally good, but I can't recommend them enough. Um, best bag on the market that I have found. It's not a good trap bag or barricade bag or a tricorn, but Coltac makes all of those for you PRS guys, NRL guys that need like different bags, like the game changer styled bag or the tricorn bag. Coltac makes all of those. They're all amazing. I have several of a bunch of different kinds that I use for different positional shooting, but I find my cuddle bag goes every time without fail because if I want to stabilize the rifle outside of the bipods, I just lay it on my cuddle bag using my Wooby bag and I'm good to go. Next up, you got to keep notes. We've been over this. I feel like I've hit this a bunch. People in the back, you have to take notes. If you don't take notes, you don't have anything to reference. So having a good notebook. You could use a moleskin. You could use a bunch of different stuff. I like this one. You've seen it a bunch of times. This is the Coltac Note Keeper. So this little pocket here in the front is actually made. They have a heads up card that goes off of your scope body off to the side. Uh, it's cheat cheat. And they have little cards you can use to put into here so you can switch them on and out. Um, I usually have some of the right in the rain in all our NRL dope cards that I'll stick into here. But this is known as the Note Keeper. The Note Keeper itself it's got Tigris on the inside. You've seen this in other videos. It's amazing. It takes the standard um, moleskin, like five by eight cashier's notebook, the soft cover notebook. It's amazing. I love this thing. I use it all the freaking time at work writing videos, and I use it on the range all the time. It's a great piece of equipment. This is about 42 bucks. Again, Coltac. Noticing a trend here. I really, really like their stuff. So number five for me is you have to have a chronograph. Depending on what kind of shooting you're going to do, Depends on the kind of chronograph you need. If I'm doing a bunch of different stuff, maybe it's my lab radar. But typically for me, I do a lot of loading for AR style stuff or AR-10. And for me, that is the magneto speed. This is the easiest chronograph to use. Make sure you stick a cleaning rod down the barrel and that you're not like coming, this isn't slightly elevated and you're going to wipe this out. 
You can strap this to a suppressor. You can strap this to the barrel of the gun behind the muzzle brake. Um, it connects off here to your deal. Everything's happened in front of you. You don't have to worry about shooting through anything. As long as the fit's right, you're going to get very, very accurate, repeatable results. Uh, it's, it's really awesome. There are some issues depending on bullet weight and construction where you could run into a potential issue, though those are really rare and few and far between. I've had this one going on three years. It's awesome. Uh, I really like it. I have the big version that comes in the hard case too. It's about $400. It's really good too, but I will typically have this sporter in my bag because it's a simple, effective way to get really consistent velocity, standard deviations, everything. If I'm going to shoot a precision match or a gong challenge where we're shooting MOA and a half steel out to a thousand yards, typically before I shoot, I'll get a good, I'll get a velocity data on that day so that I can go from there. Number six, when you're developing a load, you have to be able to keep the rifle consistently at a temperature. That can be hard if it's really sunny and hot outside. I've taken awnings to the range and put them up over me so that I kept the rifle cooler. But in between strings of fire, as I'm recording data and loading stuff down, there are different ways to do it. But one of them I have found I really like is something as simple as the chamber chiller. Now, the chamber chiller I got introduced to by Johnny's Reloading Bench years ago. It's a super simple piece. This is all 3D printed, but it's basically a computer fan. You insert this into the ejection port and it goes into the chamber itself. I plug this into any of my battery backups that I would have for my phone and it'll power this guy. Plug it in, sit it in there. Uh, it sucks air from outside down through your bore and forces it out the barrel, thus helping to cool your barrel down, giving you less time needed between shots to let the rifle cool down to in uh, you know stasis so that you can continue to shoot after that is ammo boxes not just the ammo novels which is my favorite way to do things but typically if i'm loading a bunch of different stuff when i'll go i may do eight nine different maybe 12 to 15 different loads when i go to the range and one of the ways i have found that is super efficient to do that are these deluxe boxes from MTM. So these are the same company that makes a lot of the normal boxes, but these guys are set up a little bit different. Inside I have a like hard rubber case on the inside of here. And if I took something like a 5.56 projectile, like this guy, I could sit it in there like that, or I can flip this guy over and actually seat it down into there so that it's super stable. But typically what I'll do with these, if I'm doing a bunch of different loads, like the ammo novels are great when I'm just shooting a, for the same projectile, because then I'm just keeping track of powder weights. But if I'm running some different wild card stuff, I use these and I'll stack them out, you know, 10 rounds here or five, you know, five and then a gap five. And then so I could effectively have five different loads in here and I'll just put a, P, a note card in the top with the data for what I'm running. You can get these for anything. This is one I use for 30 out six all the time. Again, we just have a little wrote down data here that kind of a map. And then I have the same deal here, but this is for 30 out six with the AMAX loading in here. I can put them up, I can put them down. As I pull the round out of the chamber, I can flip that brass over face down. And then I have a dedicated look at the bases of all my brass. So I can see if I've got any cratering on primers, things that I need to be paying attention to. Uh, but having good ammo boxes, whether that be the standard ammo box that you would carry it in or a hard box like this MTM Deluxe case, these are the ones I recommend. They are the best if you need a hard side option. But if you're going to shoot a bunch of match stuff and have some real fun, these are my go-tos for range days where I'm shooting match or if I'm just training on sniper weapon systems where we're getting data and I'm, I'm you know, it's data-driven practice and approach. I use something like this because this goes into my my assault bag that I've got. That's got my shooting mat on the outside of it. Just gives me easy access to my data or my ammo and my ammo is contained. And more importantly than anything, that's loud. This is silent, which is awesome operationally if you needed to store your ammo. So after that, it's going to be a brass catcher because you have to obtain, retain your brass if you're hand loading because brass gives you an important insight into all the rest of the stuff like pressure signs, where you're at, where you're this, is the case dirty, do you have this going on, brass. Um, like for example, I will tell you if you shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor 308 or uh, AR-10, your brass isn't going to last long because it beats it up. 
There's a bunch of different brass. This is the cheapest version I found that actually works. This is shooting made easy. It actually has a pick rail attachment here and this slides onto it and covers your ejection port of your AR, dumps your brass into here and then you get a zipper at the bottom, but it keeps you from chasing your brass down or worse, having that, that brass goblin at the range, the old man with his NRA hat and his orange RSO vest as he's waiting patiently on you to forget that really nice piece of brass so he can pick it up. Brass catcher makes your life a lot easier. So going along with your brass catcher, having a brass bag. Um, I like, there's a bunch of different options over there. Surprise, surprise. The one I use is, uh, well, it's made by Coltac. They use the excellent material at the top here, like a whoopee bag. I've got the same Cordura down here, drawstring approach, but I will tell you, it's the smallest attention to detail that makes Coltac what they are. That's the inside of my bag. It's bound because they gave a shit enough to make this bag incredibly well done all the way through so that it would last longer. This is the brass bag from Coltac. Awesome, I think that's like 25 bucks. You can get super cheap versions like this. I don't like them. Get a good one. Uh, I'll have this for the rest of my freaking life. Um, it is what it is. So after your brass bag, there's a few things you're gonna need. First and foremost, you're gonna need eye pro. Whether that be sunglasses, whether that be clear eye pro, uh, something even like these Wiley X Sabres with the clear lenses or the copper lenses, having good eye pro because if something goes horribly wrong and you pierce a primer, blow something up, you don't want the shit in your eyes. So have good eye pro, wear it on the range. I know you're punching paper, but you're also experimenting with tiny explosions about eight inches in front of your face. So wear eye pro. And last but certainly not least, something to shoot at. For me, that's something to shoot at is very simple. I went over this before, and that's something to shoot at is foam presentation boards from Walmart. Buy these in bulk on Amazon. You can get them for about 15 cents a piece. Get a box of 20 or 30. They're excellent. The wind doesn't ha have a tendency to pull them and move them as much. Um, and then all you need is something straight to make your lines for your intersecting lines. And then you need a dot. It also gives you a data point in which to write data down so that you can reference it later. And as far as those little stickers, you can do something more expensive like these Taylor Target stickers that have stuff on it. Uh, I have green and orange, but if we're going to be honest, the most effective way to do it is to buy a big roll like this from Chroma Label. These are 1.5 inch Chrome, uh, Chroma labels from Amazon. This is like three bucks for, I think, 500 of them. So that is how I make targets. It gives me the best opportunity to do the things that I do. But again, the stuff you need that I carry that's indispensable to me, we talked about it in this video. And then something new I've been playing with from Coltac. This guy is freaking wild. This has closed cell padding all around the inside of it. It's a super small form factor. This would make an excellent tool case but what I have discovered it's even better for, for someone like me, is this will hold 30 round mags if I want to. But more importantly than that, it takes my AICS pattern mags and I can hold seven of them side by side in here. So if I'm shooting a match, I have preloaded mags for all my stages ready to go in here. I can literally take this. I carry an Everly Stock Fact Track bag to uh, matches and stuff, which would be the Ford Air Control bag. I've got room in the inside for stuff that I need. I can put my cuddle bag, my bags that I would need throughout the match. My tripod's got a big pass through on the side where it goes. Lickies, chewies, water, snivel gear, rain gear, all that goes in there, sunscreen. And then this guy, I can just drop in the side on the top of it. My shooting mat is mounted to the outside. It's got a brain pocket on the top that will fit something like this in there. So I have easy access to my Kestrel, my data book, my ammo itself, and then all my mags fit in there pretty good. I don't have to worry about things getting banged around or these being wide open and crap constantly smacking into my precision rifle ammo that I've created for this very situation. So guys, there you go. My top 10 hand loading accessories that I'm using when I go to the range. Some version of this goes every time. It's made my life easy and by God, you feel kind of swanky using some of this stuff. So guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, reach out to me with any questions you've got, check out that link tree and go visit my good folks over there at Coltac. They're amazing people and you won't be mad. The stuff's just good. If you're a can guy, they have some of the best suppressor covers on the market 
and like a suppressor storage bag so you can take multiples if you're super bougie and you got it like that. But anyway, take care of yourself, take care of each other. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.